Top of the evening to you, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Silverstones. My name is Jordan Headley. I'll be the host here tonight. Where we're talking about things I wished I knew before I started a business. And it's nighttime here. We're doing a rare nighttime episode, but it seems like we get dark at like 3 p.m. nowadays in Manitoba. It's mid-December. The good news is in about a week or two, I think it's the shortest day of the year, which means that the days will only get longer from then on. So we got that going for us. <laughs> We're actually not talking about Bitcoin tonight. We're not talking about silver or any sort of investments, just the investment in yourself. And so I'm going to be sharing three or four uh, ideas here, I guess you'd say. Um, and I'm hoping that somebody on the other end of this, whether you're a business owner, whether you're thinking about starting a business or a side hustle or somebody who's pursuing their passion and hoping to maybe monetize that someday. I'm hoping that this will help you build a solid foundation and ensure or help ensure success in the future. So I want to give a quick story about myself, how I got here, give a bit of context for those who don't know me or are new to the channel. I spent the majority of my life as an employee. And ever since I was a kid, I've worked a ton of different jobs. I worked at the golf course. I worked at Pizza Hut, pumped gas at Husky worked at the GM dealership in Dauphin. I even worked for the federal government of Canada. For, <laughs> for one summer, I would go door to door and I would do the survey thing, whatever census, um, wild. So the government of Canada, uh, sorry, I actually forgot about that. The government of Canada, um, I worked at the rec center. I worked at uh, a bunch of different places. Anyways, for eight years, I worked at BDO, up until December of 2021, where I cut ties and branched off on my own. Started my own company called Silverstone Solutions. Before that, though, while I was still working at BDO, my little brother and I started a golf company called King Golf. K-N-G Golf. You can check it out. We got a website, kinggolf.ca. We make some really cool stuff. But when we started the business, we had no idea how to run a company. Even going to school i went to acc i went to bu took the business admin degree um, but for anybody who is who has ever been through one of those programs they're not overly helpful in terms of actually running a business you learn the ins and outs you learn what a business should look like on paper you learn how to recognize revenue and expenses but the real world is much different than the classroom and so we basically had to learn everything just by trial and error hit the ground running, hope for the best, see what sticks. Um, we utilized YouTube and I would highly encourage everybody, any business owner out there to utilize YouTube as much as you can to learn different things. And it's so there's so much information available on YouTube. It's free and it's at your fingertips. You can find whatever you're looking for in a matter of minutes. Um, so we used YouTube a lot and, but we never really knew how to how to run a company um so i'm hoping that this this will kind of tie into that in, in the sense that i wish that i would have had this information when we started the the company because we not that we wasted a lot of time but we didn't have the foundation in place to get going and what i'm going to share here is kind of my opinion on the the a good foundation to start with if you're looking for customers if you're trying to build an audience um promote your products whatever it may be and I kind of just realized this over the weekend as I was talking to my dad. Um, dad worked at the credit union for a lot of years and he recently retired and started selling real estate. So we were talking about social media, a strategy for it and how we can start getting uh, finding new customers or clients and promoting his listings. And so it's not really until you sit down and think about it until you um, realize, you know, what you've learned and the experience that you gain from running a business because everything's just so go, go, go. You never really have time to stop and think about it. So here they are. I got three things. They all start with C. I did that intentionally thinking it'll be easier to remember, keep it simple. So the first one here is content is gold. And we all know what content is. Content is pictures, it's video, anything to do with your industry that you're sharing. And so the cool thing that we have now is a, a, a cell phone. And within the cell phone, it has a very 
high quality camera. And a few years ago or a decade ago, you would have had to pay thousands of dollars for that quality of camera. You also had to carry it on your shoulder. But now we have this incredible invention, a phone that also has a very high quality camera attached to it. So the first thing is that you should always have content on your mind, no matter what you're doing, whether it's business, personal, whatever it may be, you have this device in your phone, take advantage of that. And so where the gold ties into this is that you can use content right now, or you can keep it for later, use it as a reserve, like you would gold, store it in a vault somewhere and make sure you have easy access to it. So I'll give you an example here. Our company, King Golf, if I'm going to the golf course, I'm going to Wheat City Golf Course, I take a bunch of pictures, some videos, just throughout the round. You don't have to go out of your way to do it. Um, but then I get home, I make a post today saying, I just played Wheat City Golf Course. Course is in phenomenal shape. Would highly suggest anybody in the area, check it out. Um, Props to Grady and Dave for getting it into such great condition, you know. So that's my post for today. That's what I'm using content for today. And that's what a lot of people do is they take a picture, they post about it, forget about it. But the, the part of this that I want to drive home is that this content is actually gold. So set up like a, an external device. You can buy them at Best Buy for like 100 bucks. They have one terabyte or two terabytes worth of storage and set up a bunch of folders on there. So you'll have a good organized layout within folders of all your content. And every time you take a picture or video, put it into a folder. So you can use that content today or in a year from now, you can tap into those reserves, that gold, and recycle it. So in a year from now, if King Golf is running a contest or I just wanted, I needed a good picture of a golf course to tie into this uh, write-up or post that I'm about to make, I can access those that content easily without having to think about it, without having to search for it, without having to get somebody else to send me a golf picture. I have all that stuff. And it's the same for realtors. You know, if you're going to list a new house or a new property, uh, take some pictures there and, and put them into this folder and find something in the house that's unique or that you find cool because the people, the people who are following you online, your audience, they think that what you're doing is interesting to them. So if, if you find something cool about a house, there's a good chance that your audience will think the same. So you can take a picture of it and, and load all of it into this um, vault or a device and have it for later because it, it really reduces the time that you have to spend. Contrary to popular belief, it is not easy to be posting um, every day and having it mean something to the people that you're posting to, your audience. It's tough. And the easier that you can make it on yourself, I think the better off you'll be. So that's what I wish that I would have known earlier is to have a good process in place, a good organized um, external drive where I can draw and retrieve content as I need it and save a bunch of time and energy doing so. So that's number one. Content is gold. Number two, cash is blood. So everybody's heard the phrase cash is king and probably should have used that considering uh, the king golf uh, thing, should have tied that in better. But I went with cash is blood because it is blood. It's the blood of any business. And I'm not talking about how to make money here. I'm talking about how to collect money. So this is something that my dad taught me um, a, a couple of years ago now, but he said that the, the main reason that businesses fail is because they fail to collect from customers. And he saw a lot of different businesses. He would lend to a lot of different businesses. So he would see statements and he knew why businesses failed. And, you know, he was the one in a roundabout way giving the financing to these businesses to keep them afloat. And so he said that the majority of businesses failed because they didn't collect uh, money from their customers on time. Which makes sense when you're a new business and and i'm very guilty of this i was horrible at this and still i'm working at it for sure but when you start a business your focus is on gaining customers making sure that your product or your service is the best that it can be and you kind of put the collections aside almost but over time you know you maybe forget some to collect for some people maybe some of them turn into bad debts where you can't where that's been so long that they're out of business now or whatever, you know, 
it's tough. So the key here is make sure you have a good process in place from the beginning and make sure that you focus your energy on collecting from customers instead of just chasing the next customer. Focus on collecting the money from the customers that you already have and the services and products that you've already sold. The work's done. You just have to collect the money now. But it is hard for businesses to do that. And I'm like I said, I'm very guilty of that. But so content is gold, cash is blood. And the last one here is consistency is key. I did not invent that saying. I'm sure everybody's heard that a thousand times. But how it relates to this is that you don't need to be posting 10, 10 things a day or 20 times a day, like Gary V says online. And a bunch of other people promote this too. I think that that's almost overkill. I think that you have to be focused on doing one thing a day, whether that's an Instagram story, whether that's a post on Twitter, whether that's a Facebook um, story post, whatever it is, YouTube video, LinkedIn post, a TikTok even. But just try to do one a day. And a good way to do this is if you want to spend a couple hours a week, you can save your, your posts into drafts. And then when the time comes every day, you don't necessarily have to to reinvent the wheel or just like come up with this um, beca because creativity comes and goes and th there'll be hours where you have a bunch of different thoughts coming in and make sure you wrote, write those down and you can set up drafts because there are days where there'll just be nothing that comes into your head. The content, having the, the content, the gold waiting there helps a lot with this. It really helps you consistently post because you always have something there that you can turn into a write-up or a post, whatever it may be. So there, there's a, sorry, um, I don't like doing this, but I want, I just, this came to my mind. There's a good quote that I've come across and it says, it doesn't matter how slow you go, but it's that you don't stop. So you don't have to go fast or slow. Um, it's just that you can consistently do it and do not stop doing it over time. Like I said, your, your audience there, there are people that are interested in what you're doing. They don't, they're not following you because they like you. They're, they're following you because they care about what you're doing. They're interested in what you're doing. So consistently post every day instead of going on a, a tangent and doing one week and then going uh, dark for a month. You have, to, you have to do it consistently. If you want to be at the top of people's minds, your customers' minds, um, make sure you're doing it consistently. And what the main tip that I would have for that, because when you're when you're posting a lot, it seems like you're gonna be pissing your customers off or your audience off, right? I mean, I've dealt with that before. You don't want to post too much because you think that it's overkill. But if you fo if you have a strategy in mind, in in the sense of focus 90% of your posts, your content on the industry itself, and 10% on whatever you're selling to the, the customers. So what that means is like for King Golf, we do a lot of promoting for the game of golf. So we have a podcast. We have uh, golf tournaments. We want to grow the game as much as we can because as the game grows, you you build new, you create new customers out of that. And, you know, it's just a, it's a snowball effect. So you want to be promoting your industry, in this case, the game of golf. So we want to help people get into golf. We want to help them get better at golf. We want to help them have more fun on the golf course because it all ties in together because you're selling the industry more. And I think that people appreciate that a lot more than just simply putting out a bunch of pictures of your products every day. So for nine days, industry, one day, your product. And of course, over, a, uh, over the short term, that ratio will be offset. There'll be months where there's a lot of product like at Christmas. Um, but over the long term, make sure that that's the kind of ratio that you stick to is nine times out of 10, you're talking about the industry, one times out of 10, one time out of 10, you're talking about your product. So that's what I got. Um, I'm, I love talking about this stuff. This is, this is what I live for. I live for trying to be better every single day, personally, with your business. And I think that, you know, aside from the Bitcoin, the investment stuff, this is something that I want to um, promote and encourage within this channel and build a community of people who are supporting each other and each other's businesses. So I'm very interested to see, having said that, I'm very interested to see what advice you've received through the years. If you're, if you're a business owner, 
what's something that has stuck to you, with you and something that's made a huge difference in your day-to-day -day, macro micro whatever it may be what's the advice you received uh put it in the comments or send me an email if you want to have a chat uh that's my website right there silverstones.ca so you can just take your phone right over top of that um scan it i guess you'd say don't take a picture you don't need to take a picture um and it'll take you to my website so if you've been learning anything if you've been enjoying these videos make sure to click the like button subscribe to the channel the more that we can trigger this algorithm if you if you kind of believe in what i'm saying in terms of um bitcoin in terms of separating from the control structure that we've lived in if all this is resonating with you then the more of this we can get out there to more people i think the better off we'll be in and our future will be so share it with some couple friends if you know that they're thinking about starting a business or they just started one i think that uh this will bring a lot of value to them and, and give them a good framework and like i said a foundation to get off the ground uh the right way so that's it i appreciate you for watching those who have subscribed it means the world to me uh, i think we're going to hit 100 subscribers here right away which is great haven't been doing this very long so i really appreciate everybody who has subscribed and who's been um commenting liking whatever i'm i'm here for the long term and similar to bitcoin this isn't something that i want to do you know it, it's not a, it's not nothing is a get rich scheme and i i'm sorry i always end up preaching at the end of these um videos but i'm here for the long term i want to bring as much value to people as i can I want to continue to grow or build a community here of people who kind of have the same feelings, the same vision of the future. And the more we can talk about it, the more it'll come into existence, I believe anyways. So I appreciate you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.